Hey racers, John Racer3 here, back for the unboxing of the Hot Wheels 2019 M case. Now, if you guys remember uh, last time we unboxed one of these cases, it was a very small case with cars. I think there were only like 16 cars in that case that we had to race that were different, but in this case, we have a whopping 30 cars that we have to unbox and race here. So, if you guys remember the rules, all you gotta do is comment down below what video or car you wanna see win, and in the next video, if your car wins, you'll get a shout out at the end of the video. So, I'm gonna stop talking now and start unboxing these beautiful cars. First up, we have Turbo Charge. Let me just fix the lighting there for you. Very nice looking casting. I think this is a new casting. I could be wrong though. Looking very nice. Next up, we got Twin Mill Gen E. I'm super excited to unbox this thing because I think it looks super cool. It'd be awesome if they could have Gen E versions of all of the new or all of the OG Hot Wheels. But this this car looks really good. Probably one of the best fantasy castings so far this year, especially in that blue. I like it. I like it a lot. Next up, we've got Beat All. I don't know if this thing will fit on the track. If it doesn't, you won't even see it in the next video, but I would not recommend choosing that. I mean, maybe it does. Maybe it fits and you have it, and it's super fast. I, would, I wouldn't know. We've got a whole bunch of fantasy cars up first here. We've got Crescendo. This is a recolor in red. It's got a metal base. I don't remember if it was fast last time it raced, but hey, you never know. Could be a, could be a hidden gem there. Next up, we have Cool Combi with the Magnus Walker white paint job on it. That thing looks super sick. Now, I would not recommend choosing this thing. It's very low to the ground. As you can see, it doesn't roll the best, but it looks cool. I mean, Cool Combis, a whole bunch of people love collecting Cool Combis. Personally, not my thing, but I understand the hype behind it. Next up, we've got a Dodge Charger. I I think this might be a recall. I don't remember if that came out earlier this year, but I do like the black and blue Mopar paint scheme on this thing, and the wheels on the Charger look very good as well. Next up, we've got Cyber Speeder. We're just getting all of our fantasy cars out of the way first here. Very nice. It's got a lip that goes up and down. Very nice. The cars that have lips that can go up and down have always proved to be super fast on the racetrack, so that is something to look out for. And this thing's wheels looks, this thing just in general looks cool. You got another John Racer 3 car here with the 3 on it. Looks super sick, and it's actually a treasure hunt. I just realized if the camera can focus, you got a little treasure hunt logo there on the front and also on the card as well. Nice. I think this is probably one of my favorite treasure hunts. This is a very nice looking car. I like it. Next up, we've got Heavy Hitcher. I know this is a recaller because it came out earlier this year in orange. I think I like the white a little better though, just when cars are in plain generic colors like white or black, especially fantasy cars, I think they look a lot cooler, so there you have it. We got another tow truck, you can tow your cars. Really nice, we can tow the cool combi, you know, cool combi won't go that fast on the track, might need some help there. We have Hovering Out Super Chrome. This is a recolor, came out earlier in silver. I don't remember if it was fast or not. It's been a while since I've looked back because I have been on vacation super recently, so I don't remember most of these cars, but there you go, Super Chrome's very tiny wheels. I don't remember if it's fast or not. Next up, we're gonna get in pretty much all reality castings here next. We got the Audi Sport Quattro. Quattro in green, the recolor of the white version earlier in like B or C case, I think the first version came out. So we got a late, late recolor of this thing in green, looking very sharp. Next up, we've got a Chevy Nova in black with orange flaming stripes, or not even a stripe, just orange flames. Very cool, old classic muscle car. We've got the custom O1 Acura Integra GSR. To me, I feel like whenever that Integra GSR comes out, all of the paint jobs look the same. Uh, so you got another recolor of this thing in black and yellow and purple, I think. That looks very nice. Next up, we've got Electro Silhouette from the Green Speed series. I don't remember 
any fantasy cars being in the green speed series, but it's got a it's got a bumper that lifts up and it looks like one of another one of those super fast cars that will dominate the six lane. I can feel it. So there you go. Next up, we've got Buns of Steel, the cheeseburger car, everyone's favorite car in green. And it's relatively heavy. I think if I remember correctly, it performed pretty well when it went down the six lanes. So that is a, definitely gonna be a car to look out for. Next up, we've got Slide Kick. This is a recolor. Very cool there. As you can see, it has a little feature where it slides open if you pull back the wing. Don't know when you'd ever wanna do that in a racing scenario, but I think it's pretty cool. Next up, you got a Ford Maverick and a Zamac looking color. Silver, if you will. Bronze wheels. I think these are some of my favorite wheels on any Hot Wheels car, so. Yeah, that's random fact. I don't know why you guys care, but here we go. We got the 64 Chevy Chevelle SS. Unbox that right there in a maroon color. Very cool. Next up, we got a 71 El Camino. I think the El Camino came out earlier this year in green, if I remember correctly. So there you go. There's another recolor for that. And a lot of recolors later in the cases, as we should expect. So very nice. Next up, we got a Audi RS6 Avant. Personally, one of my favorite cars in the case. It came out in red last year as a mainline and a super treasure hunt. So it's glad. I'm glad to see it back in a nice shiny blue color as well. That is very nice. And now we're getting to all of the beautiful cars. We've got the Pagani Wire. Pagani Wires are notoriously fast on any track. So this car is gonna be one to look out for in the black and red paint scheme. Looking very nice. Next up, we've got a 67 Ford Mustang Coupe with the Art Cars paint scheme. I think this car looks super cool. It's very heavy, got a metal casting. Uh, might be fast. I'm gonna be excited to see how it performs going down the uh, track. And you got the Y with a comma there. Don't know what the Art Cars spell, but uh, I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out. So this Acura NSX, I did not unbox it in M case, but I should have gotten it in the previous two cases and I didn't and I hadn't erased it yet. So I found it at Walmart and decided I'd just throw it in with the rest of the cars of the M case. So here you go. We have the new NSX in blue. I think the NSX has come up in blue three different times now, uh, but this is a very nice looking blue, very nice looking wheels, very clean casting overall. I think they finally nailed it with that one. Looking very nice. Next up, we got the McLaren 720S in purple. Oh my gosh, this thing looks super good. Take a look at that beauty. Wow, that looks good. Love the purple McLaren 720S. I love purple, love 720S, love everything about this car. That is gonna be a fun car to race. Next up, we've got Aston Martin DBS. Now, if you guys have watched for a long time and you watched my friend's channel, Hot Wheels Tournaments, you'd know the DBS can be very, very quick. So I'm gonna be excited to see how this new casting does down the sixth lane. Hopefully it's quick. I guess we'll just have to find out. Next up, we've got the 69 Ford Torino Talladega in white. Looking very nice there, white and green with some flames on it. Looking, 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 looking like a snack, if I do say so myself. That is a very nice looking lowrider there. We've got the Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR with a red police scheme paint job. Look at that, looking very nice there. Next up, we'll get into the end here, guys. Don't worry, we've got the Mustang Funny Car from the Hot Wheels Race Team series with the race team paint. There you have it, the Mustang Funny Car. It could be fast, could not. I mean, it's a drag car, so should be designed to be fast. And it's decently heavy, so I think it could uh, put up a fight racing against all these other cars. Next up, we got the 96 Porsche Carrera. Came out earlier this year in white, and now it's back in blue with white wheels. Looking very, very clean. So there's that. Two more cars to go. We've got another Hot Wheels race team, Chrysler Pacifica here. This thing is a rallying beast. Take a look at that. That is an absolute unit of a Hot Wheel there. 
looking very, very good. I love the Hot Wheels Race Team paint schemes this year. Happy that I can collect them all, that's for sure. And then our final car to unbox for you guys to choose from is the Lamborghini Aventador J Mainline from the Super Treasure Hunt. Take a look at that. Very nice. Aventador J's always come out in five packs if you like, but now it's coming out as a mainline and even a super treasure hunt. So that's really, that's really good to see. So you guys have seen all of the cars. We've got 30 cars for you guys to choose from. If your car that you choose in this video in the comments down below wins the next race where I race these guys next Wednesday, you'll get a shout out at the end of the video. So go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.